Mark chapter 15, verse 6, we move on the final day that Jesus Christ is on this earth before his death. Now at the feast, Passover, he, Pilate, released unto them one of the prisoners, whomsoever they desire. America does that. When, when the president leaves office, he pardons. But notice how it doesn't say pardon. It says released. Because there is no way legal or dictionary can a man be pardoned without claiming fault of guilt of his crime. If you got somebody who has done a crime and it comes to the end of the presidency, he says, you can go free. If that guy is never sorry, no remorse, that is not a pardon. But if you release them, oh, you can open up the bars and go. And they desire would be the Jews. It was up to the Jews who you're going to be free. And there was one named Barabbas. Now look at that name Barabbas. As we move tonight about Barabbas. You see that B-A-R. In the Hebrew, and we do do Hebrew when, when it calls for it's like Beth, B-E-T-H, house of. Bethel, the house of God. Bar, B-A-R, is son of. Abbas, A-B-B-A-S, father. Son of a father. Or son of the father. Because it's a little bit ironic that we have a man who is called son of a father. And the other man we have, the son of the father. Jesus Christ. Don't we cry out, Abba, Father. Well, there's that Abba. So when you see Barabbas in Jesus, It's not just, all right, here's two men. And one of, them, one of them is God. One of them is my Savior. Here's a one that's, it's, he's a type of the Antichrist. Which lay bound. Okay. Now, if you look at 15.1, Jesus was bound. Both of these men would be what you would put in handcuffs. Tied, whatever. Jesus is arrested for no crime. Barabbas is arrested, we'll see, for crime in a moment. Barabbas is guilty. Jesus is sinless. And they're both standing with Pilate. And we will look at Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John tonight. He stood bound with them that had made insurrection with him. Also, there is more than just Barabbas with them. That's more than one. It's not Pilate, and it's not Jesus. With him, insurrection with him, Barabbas. Insurrection would remind you of the, the January 6th in America. When they climbed the walls and broke into the U.S. Capitol 
under the name and banner You don't want me to say it, do you? Donald Trump. Donald Trump, the ringleader of the uprising of January 6th. He lay bound with them that had made insurrection with him and had committed murder in the insurrection. I wouldn't be surprised that a Republican gets into the White House that those men in September, I mean, January 6th would be released. That's biblical. Now they're guilty. And committed a murder in the insurrection. January 6th, there were five that were killed in the uprising, in the insurrection against our United States government. But we're to let them get away. We're to let them have their freedom because they stood for a Republican. And the multitude crying aloud began to desire him to do as he had ever done unto them. But Pilate answered them, saying, Will ye that I release unto you the king of Jews? So verse 8 is, hey, you let people go before. Verse 9, Pilate puts out there the king of the Jews, Jesus Christ. You want me to let him go? To the Jews. He came on to his own. And his own received him not. For he knew, Pilate knew that the chief priests, the Jews, the Jewish people, the Hebrews, the religious realm of the Hebrews had delivered him Jesus for envy. What's the envy? He had the crowds, he had the people's ears, he had the people's heart, he, he had everything of the people, but they didn't. And somebody would come running. Did you hear what Jesus today? You wouldn't believe what I saw that Jesus did today. Man, you got to can't believe this guy, Jesus. You don't know how many people was there at that, that assembly he had. You can't realize the bread that he fed these people with. And it's just got envy. It just got envy. And they're turning away from. That's why the Catholic Church does not want you in the Bible. Because you will be turned away from a non-biblical religion. And there are religions out there, such as the Jehovah Witnesses, they will turn the people away from a true Baptist church with their lives. And instead of fighting, the pastors get envious, and then they just, you know what, go bring more in. Go bring more in, go bring more in, because I don't care who's gone. Bring more in, and numbers look good. Why don't you go where Jesus goes to get that large? Why don't you go get your butt inside that kingdom hall and proclaim the truth and fight for your people that's a member of your church? And they call the cops, hello, hello. Uh, we got a raving, ranting preacher here from the Baptist church. And the cops come, Oh, sir, excuse me, officer, 
you know, we pray for you. That's they stole my people. That person, that family there, those people, they are members of my church. Here's my church world. They are here now. I'm going to charge them with, with theft. Officer, would not, if somebody took your wife or somebody took your somebody in your family, would you not go to get them? That's, that's the wrong with the Baptist churches today. They don't get that lost sheep. They, uh, oh, Mrs. Such and Such, she's in a nursing home now. Did you go visit them? No. Come on, people, gotta get more sheep. Bring them in. Bring them in. Who cares about the old members and they're shut up? They can't get. What about the, the members who can't get? A vehicle to go to. I know a family right now. The, the, the wife can't drive, doesn't drive. The guy had lost his leg and he can't go to church because no one will pick him up. Or it's too much of an inconvenience to pick him up. But the chief priest moved the people. That he, Pilate, should release, should rather release Barabbas unto them. Get rid of the truth and give us the criminals. And when you have an event outside of a prison that you're going to execute somebody for their crimes, and listen, it, it, you got to go to court, you got to go to appeals court. And maybe to another appeals court to be guilty by a trial of your peers. And the day, the day that they're going to kill that person, they're going to put into effect capital punishment. There are Roman Catholics there on the street with their signs. Over, oh, keep them alive, keep them alive. But there's no Roman Catholics at the abortion clinic. Keep the babies alive. Keep the baby. No, give us the criminals. Give us the criminals. Why? Because they're criminals. To each their own. They want a criminal. They want Barabbas. They don't want Jesus. This is the one that healed them. This is the one that fed them. This is the one that took care of them. This is the one that showed them love. This is the one from God. <laughs> give us the thief. Because in the name of republic, in the name of, we want Barabbas. And Pilate answered and said unto them, what will ye then that I should do unto him which is called the king of the Jews? Now listen, do you realize what Pilate's doing? He's sticking his neck out. Pilate is the governor of Caesar. And to mention the very fact of king of the Jews, Pilate is suggesting, you know, an overthrow of the Roman government to overthrow Caesar. But the Jews are a problem. The Jews have always been a problem. So Pilate's like, hey, you guys want a king? <laughs> All right, I'll give you your king. You can do it. You can deal with him and he can deal with you. As long as they do what they're supposed to under the Roman government. I mean, you don't come like you are coming to me right now. One guy upset you all. Well, why don't you just take them, deal with your law? Oh, well, you know, our law says we can't kill anybody. You know? And they cried out again, crucify him. And Pilate said unto why? What evil has he done? What is his crime? And they cried out the more exceedingly, crucify him. Well, that's the thing Jesus gets. 
And if you are saved and a member of a Baptist church and you help and you love and you pray and you do what you can and you have been stabbed in the back, you have been cut in the butt, you have been turned against, you have been talked about, you have been thrown out of church, congratulations. You have walked the path of Jesus. Have I become your enemy because I have spoken the truth? Said Paul. And so Pilate, willing to contend with the people, released Barabbas onto him and delivered Jesus when he had scourged him to be crucified. So, if there wasn't so many people there, Pilate would have let Jesus go. But if Pilate would have let Jesus go, the people would have mobbed Pilate. So Barabbas, the criminal, the murderer, Go, goes home, and if he's with a family, gets to go sit down and have a dinner with his family. It's the Passover. Jesus is beaten, scorched. That means beaten, whipped. And sent to the cross. Innocent. The world's not fair. It wasn't fair to Jesus. Don't you dare crawl in there! Wasn't fair for Jesus. At any point in time, he said he could call down legions of angels. Why did God let this happen? Why did God sit in heaven and watch all that happen to Jesus? God didn't send one angel. The angel of the Lord would have taken care of the whole thing. Matthew 27. Matthew 27. Verse 16. Matthew, uh, yeah, Matthew 27, 16. And they had then a notable prisoner called Barabbas. He is a notable prisoner. Well known. Jesus was well known amongst all of Judah, Israel. We're putting them one against the other. Our last thing was one got to go home and have a dinner and one went to go to the cross. They're both notable. And yet Jesus was, was arrested, a prisoner, but he innocent. Therefore, when they had gathered together, Pilate said unto them, Whom will ye that I release unto you, Barabbas or Jesus called the Christ, the anointed one? Who do you want? People, who do you want? Go up to American Republicans. Say, who do you want? Do you want Jesus? Or do you want anybody on the side of Donald Trump the guns, the flag, and the Bible? Crucify Biden, or Biden, however you say. Crucify but uh, Janet. That's uh, not a very good atmosphere for professing Christians to have.
You can't name your anger against the Democrats and you're for the Republicans and profess to be a Christian. Who do you want? You want the son of the father, the Pope? Or do you want Jesus? That's your question. You can't have both. Because Barabbas and Jesus walk a different walk. At the close of today's study. For he knew. Pilate knew that for envy. They had delivered him. <laughs> That's a great cause. We're going to murder a man. Jesus. Because we envy him. You ought to take right now the sin of envy and avoid it. Leave it. Confess it. Forsake it. Because envy would lead you to murdering the person you envy. When he was set down in the judgment seat, Pilate, his wife sent unto him, saying, she sends word to her husband, have nothing to do with this just man. Did you get that? We are going to read that Pilate's wife said he's just. We are going to read that Pilate said, I find no fault in him. I find no fault in him. I find no fault in him. We got one man is arrested for murder, and we got one man who gives life. Lazarus, that young man that was in the beer as they were walking through the city, that girl that was dead on her bed. Did you forget about that? Where is that mother with the child that was in the coffin walking through the street? He's a just man, his wife said. Don't listen to your wife. Your wife huh? You better listen to her. She's not a Jezebel, she ain't an Eve. She's an unsaved woman of the Roman government, maybe. And she's got better sense than my jury year Christian women in Baptist churches today. For I have suffered many things this day in a dream because the Bible ain't written. And she's not going to be able to go down and get the Torah because of him. Or maybe she did have scripture. Maybe she was getting scripture like that Ethiopian eunuch. And tell me about this man in Isaiah 53. May the Holy Spirit is rattling her heart to say, hey, that's, that's the one your husband's going to deal with today. Maybe she had the scriptures that would put Jesus in front of her husband. But the chief priest, plural, and the elders, plural, persuaded the multitude, the Jew, that they should ask Barabbas. Okay, ready? And destroy Jesus. What's on their heart? Save the criminal and destroy the religious nun. Written by the religion. So when I was down, and because of my health, I can't do it. But when I was in Daytona Beach Farmer's Market 
and preaching on the streets. The religious would say, call the cops and get rid of him. Call the cops and put him in jail. Thankfully, the laws of America and the laws on the Supreme Court protected me. But we don't want that preaching. Now, I haven't been at that farmer's market yet, but maybe they got cannabis now. Maybe they're smelling. They're sell, smelling. Maybe they're selling marijuana right now. I don't. I, I don't know. We will have the marijuana, but we don't want the preacher. And we'll love to have our child on beer and drugs and in our bathroom, but we don't want him in the in the church. And I've heard those. And I've heard cases where, hey, we don't mind our daughter being a prostitute, but we don't want her to be with Jesus. The Catholic Church has said throughout the years, give us the Barabbas, but kill the Christians. And your churches today, your Baptist churches today, don't even know that. They're ignorant. And they're worried about the mark, and they're worried about the 666. There ain't none of their problem to be worried about. The governor, that's Pilate, answered and said unto him, Whether of twain, Barabbas or Jesus, who I release unto you, they said, Barabbas. The murderer you would love to have back with you. You don't want the guy that took loaves of bread and fed you. You don't want the guy that gave you blind eyes to see again. And But you will go beyond health care costs and insurance for medical. You'll pay extra amount, but you want to murder him. Who can do nothing for you. Oh the rising care. The rising cost of health care. The rising cost of the prices. Well you told the one who's God. And can provide. We don't want him. Pilate said. What shall I do then. With Jesus which is called. Christ holy. Anointed. They said unto him. Let him be crucified. The governor said, why? What evil has he done? But they cried out the more, saying, let him be crucified. They don't treat me right in the church. Jesus wanted to be taught right in the church today. KJV 1611, Baptist. Luke 23. Luke 23. And verses 1 on is the charges. Verse 4. Pilate's Said to the chief priest, I find no fault in this man. Got that? I don't see anything wrong with this man. And Jesus heads off to the cross and Barabbas heads on. And the chief priests go about the Passover. And the Jews turn around and head off for the Passover. John 18.
John 18, 28. Then led Jesus from Caiaphas into the Hall of Judgment. It was early. See? It was a kangaroo late court. Early is the, the, the kangaroo. The, the hen just, the rooster just crowed a little while ago. They had to wait after 6 a.m. because they'd be breaking the law. The Sabbath law. They themselves went not in the judgment hall. These they should be defiled. But that they might eat the pastor. You mean turn the man over to be crucified? To be killed that wasn't available in any crime? Who can't do this. But we see, you know, we're going to keep Christmas because everybody in the church loves Christmas. The women just had a great time decorating everything for the VBS. Pilate then went out unto them and said, what, you, what accusation do you bring against this man? And they answered and said to him, if he were not a malfunctor, we would not have delivered him up unto thee. He wasn't a malfactor. He wasn't a criminal. He had done no wrong. Pilate says in verse 31, take him and judge him to your law. And they're like, they're, they're, our law prevents him. The Roman government prevents us from putting a man to death. So you see what their heart is. They're lying to the Roman government about Jesus that has done no wrong. And they want him dead. And they're fulfilling the scripture. John 18, 32. Verse 39. But ye have a custom. That I should release unto you one at the Passover. Will ye therefore I release unto you the king of the Jews? And they cried all again, saying, Not this man, but Barabbas. See, he's known. Now Barabbas was a robber along with murder. You're going to trust your neighborhood with that man? Really? Oh, if he does something wrong, they'll catch him. Uh, you think God's going to have the, the government to catch him if he goes back and robs again? That's the man you want. I'll keep eluding him from the police. Jesus, sinless. Barabbas, murderer, robber, civil unrest, and we'll take Barabbas. And you think the following events that I read, along with January 6th, you think we're a Christian nation? I know many, let me say, people who are in a Baptist church and all hail all those of January 6th and Donald Trump more than Jesus. History has repeated itself. I said, history has repeated itself.
And thanks to the dumb pastors, the Christians don't even know what they've done.